all you coin collectors out there and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we're going to take a look at some dimes from 1976, 43 years ago as we speak. And we have three of the dimes from that year. We have the Philadelphia Mint dime. And as you recall, Philadelphia didn't put a P on their dimes in 1976. It wasn't until 1979 that Philadelphia put a P on their dimes. And then we have the Denver Mint, and you can see the D there for the Denver Mint. And then we have this beautiful, and I think it's probably a, pretty close to a cameo, uh, 1976, and you can see the S right there for the San Francisco Mint. Now, there are, uh, people say, is this the year that they didn't, they forgot to put the S on some? And the answer to that is no. That was 1975. In 1975, there are some San Franciscos, and you can tell that they're San Franciscos because they're proof coins and because they have this kind of buff or luster on them. See, you can tell the difference between these, right? If you saw one of these in a second, you'd say, hey, that one's a proof coin. Um, it, there's, it what doesn't matter whether these were uncirculated or whatever. They would never have this kind of shine, this kind of buffing on them. So in 1975, they forgot to put some S's on. And that's a very, very valuable coin. 1976, they put the S back on, and they put some 70, let me make that clear, they put some S's in the 75. What you want to look for is a 75 without the S in a mint set. Uh, the 75 with the S is still worth something, probably a dollar, dollar fifty. And this 1976 S is worth about a dollar fifty to two dollars also. Well, or at least that's what you'd have to pay for it if you went and bought it. Now, what do we got here? Well, we got 1976. It's Franklin Roosevelt facing to the left. It says Liberty in front of him. In God we trust underneath his chin. Down here, way down here underneath his neck, we see a J and an S. And that's going to be the same in all of these, a J and the S. And that's for John Sinek. And John Sinek, S-I-N-N-O-C-K, is the man who first designed these coins. And these coins have been in circulation from... 1965 to the present, but in fact they were in circulation before then with the same image, uh, but those were the silver ones. And so the silver ones um, are set up as a different issue essentially. So before 1965, the dimes were silver, and those are very valuable and very collectible. So what do we got on the sides? Well, if we tip it up, we see that it's a copper nickel clad copper with a reeded edge. You see these lines in here. And then on the back, we see that we've got the torch and the maple, I mean, not the maple, that's Canada, we, the oak and the olive branches. It says United States of America across the top, one dime at the bottom, in E Pluribus Unum here. And some of these get a kind of wicked shine to them, so you have to get the light just about right. Again, this the Denver Mint, same exact thing on the back. And you can see when you look at these that the one from the Denver Mint is slightly better shape because you can see the lines in here and the bands that are holding the torch. You can't really see the lines or the band very well in this Philadelphia Mint one. And then, of course, when we get down to the proof coin, now a lot of people believe you shouldn't handle proof coins, but we've kind of always kind of done it. Um, and we, we try to never have anything on here that we can't actually handle because we'd like to be able to take it out look at it and compare it to the other ones. Well, look at the lines on this one. So we talk about the bands. You can see all the bands here. Look how the lines come through. And then we talked about on this one how you could had a hard time seeing the lines and you could hardly see the bands. So this is what it would look like in a proof setup. You can see the acorns on the oak tree. You can see the olives on the olive branch. You, this one has a nice line to it here. And uh, it's not quite a doubled line, but it's, it's very close to it. You see how this kind of a double edge there? So this may have a little bit more value to some collectors because the planche hits, uh, it's slightly off when it hit there. If we tip it up on its side, though, we see it's still a copper nickel clad copper. And that's something else we should talk about. Until 1979, these coins were not silver. So you could get a proof coin, and that is a proof coin from 19, 
1965 until 1979, and it would not be silver. This is not a silver coin. This is a copper nickel clad copper proof coin from the San Francisco Mint. We don't have those anymore these days. You can't, uh, you can't get it in that kind of version. However, um, if you uh, do get one that is silver, not from 1976, but from another year, they're, they're much more valuable. And there we have it, the 1976 S, the 1976 Philly, and coming in from the top, we'll throw in the 1976 Denver Mint U.S. dime or 10 cent coin. Have a great day from DC Coin World International Coin Channel. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you might have in the comments section.